Let's have a look at creating horizontal layouts on macOS using SwiftUI. The first approach is the simplest one and that's to just use an H stack. Let's have a quick preview of what our code does. So we just have an H stack with a red color on the left and a blue color on the red. As always on macOS, this automatically allows you to resize your window and the views will also resize. In this example, the H stack makes sure that both views have the same horizontal sizing. So they're about 50%. Uh, of course, there's a bit of spacing here in the center, but we can actually get rid of that with a different initializer here with zero spacing. And if you run that again, then you will see that there is no border in, the, uh, in between these two colors, red and blue. So an H stack is the simplest way of laying out different views horizontally both on macOS and on iOS, of course. Now the next approach is to replace the H stack with an H split view. And you're using that if you want the user to be able to resize the views. So an H split view gives you this little um, resizing indicator here in the center. And you can then, or the user can then drag to resize the views as much as they like. In general, H stack behaves the same uh, as H split view, so they both lay out their contents next to each other, but the H split view allows the user to resize them horizontally. If you want to add some navigation to the horizontal layout, so for example, here we still have two horizontal sections in our app. We have a list on the left, which is this piece of code here. And then we have some list details or some item details here on the right. In general, you might think, okay, this is just an H stack or an H split view with some content on the left and some content on the right that depends on the selection on the left. But in fact, as you can see in the code, this is actually a navigation split view, a concept that is also used in navigation view in certain size classes. So on macOS, navigation view and navigation split view actually behave pretty much the same. But a navigation split view um, gives you this, um, this master detail layout basically for free or this um, list and detail layout for free sidebar on the left, detail on the right. You also get this little um, hide sidebar button in the toolbar for free. How do you set this up? Very simple. In the first closure, you define your sidebar. So in this example, it's just a list with a selection over some string. Of course, the selection could be any type that you want. And then in the second, the detail closure, you show the details about the item. So uh, in this example here, there is an if let selected item. So if there is an item selected, then it will show details for that item. So right now it's showing details for item three. And if there's no item selected, then it will show the default view down here. Of course, this can be whatever you want. And here's the last major way of horizontally layouting your views on macOS, and that's to use an inspector. This feature got added in macOS 14, so it is still relatively new, though it has been part of AppKit for many, many years, of course. And the inspector is just a sidebar as the navigation split view provides you a sidebar on the leading edge of your window. The inspector um, provides you a sidebar on the trailing edge of your window. Of course, you can customize this however you want. Usually there would probably be a form in here or some sort of details about the main view that you're showing in this window. In this example, of course, I'm just showing the blue color uh, because you can fill this with whatever you want. It is also to note that Inspector supports two more view modifiers to define the width of the view that you are showing as an inspector either with an exact exact width uh, with this first view modifier or giving a range uh, of a possible width, including an ideal width um, with this second view modifier. So now you have a toolkit of the basic foundations of horizontal layouting on macOS, including H stack, H split view for resizing the views, navigation split view for a sidebar on the leading side that allows you to select an item and show a detail view in the center. And then you also know about the new inspector API that you can use to present a uh, yeah, inspector or detail view on the trailing edge of the window. 
have fun with these APIs and let me know which one you're using right now.